Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to understand how to draw total energy line and hydraulic gradient line for this given arrangement. Now if we observe this diagram, here is the pipe having different cross section area and whose one end is attached to the tank. Now for this pipe 1, diameter D1 and length L1 is given and for this pipe 2, diameter D2 and length L2 is given. Now from the center of pipe, the height of water surface in the tank is also given that is H is equal to 8 meter. Now if we observe this diagram, when the water from the tank is entering into this pipe, there is the head loss. So we can say that that is the head loss due to friction. Now when this water is flowing through this pipe, then again this water is in contact with the surface of pipe. So again there is a losses due to friction in the pipe 1. So we will say that it is HF1. And then here at this point C, if we observe when this water is entering from this pipe 1 to pipe 2, there is the diameter that is getting increased. So there are the losses due to sudden enlargement of the pipe. So we can say that this loss is HE. So now we have to calculate this loss. And when the water is flowing through this pipe too, again the water is in contact with the surface of the pipe. And again there are the losses due to friction. So now we will first calculate the losses one by one. So what is the loss at the entrance of the pipe? That is HI. Now for this, when water in the pipe 1 is flowing through with velocity V1. So V1 is given that is 4.452 meter per second. So for calculation of HI we have to use 0.4 V1 square by 2G. And its answer is 0.50 meter. Now next we have to calculate the loss due to friction. So friction in pipe 1. So we have formula HF1 is equal to 4F L1 V1 square by 2G D1. So F is coefficient of friction and it is given. So when we put all the values we will get HF1 is equal to 6.73 meter. Now at this point C. Water is entering into this pipe second. So again there are losses due to sudden enlargement of the pipe. That is HE. So here if we observe in the first pipe velocity is V1 and in the second pipe velocity is V2. Now these two velocities are different. Why? Because here the cross section area of this pipe is different. That's why these two velocity are different. And V2 is given 1.113 meter per second. So here HE is equal to we have formula V1 minus V2 bracket square by 2G. So when we put value we will get answer 0 0.568 meter. And again at the end point that is at outlet of this pipe second that is at point D. If we observe again there is the head loss due to friction. So head loss due to friction in the pipe second. So we have to take the or we have to refer the data related to this pipe second. So HF2 is equal to 4F L2 V2 square by 2G D2. So when we put value we will get answer 0 0.126 meter. Now we will move on the applying this head loss due to entrance or sudden enlargement of friction. So we will refer here this point A at the free surface of the water in the tank. So what is the total energy at this point A? Now if we observe, we know that total energy means pressure head plus kinetic head plus datum head. So pressure head, what is the pressure head? Now this point A is open to atmosphere 0 because the open to atmosphere means we have to take pressure head 0. Then what is the velocity of water in the tank? So it is negligible. So here we have to take kinetic head that is also equal to 0 and what is the datum head. So for that datum head we will consider here the line passing through the center of pipe will be the reference line. So from this reference line what is the datum head that is from this reference line this height is 8 meter. So we can say that the total energy at point A is equal to 8 meter. So again I will plot here one point. So I will take here the point E. Then next. So we will take the next point at 
at the entrance of the pipe 1. So at this point B, what is the loss? So here the loss of head at the entrance of pipe. So and we have calculated HI is equal to 0 0.50 meter. Now we have to plot that. That means at point A, head lost here that is 8 meter above this reference line and here at the entrance this head lost. Lost means we have to subtract here from this point E that is 0 0.50 meter. So again I will take here the next point that is the point F and we have to mention that. So I will show here with dimension. So with this arrow we have to show HI is equal to 0 0.50 meter. Now again, now when the water is flowing from this point B to point C, then there is the head loss due to friction. So how to show that? So first from this point F, I have to draw one horizontal line which is having length equal to 25 meter that is L1. So I will draw here that is the line passing through the point F. So here from this up to this point C we have to select here. So F G. I will select this point will be G. And he, it's a length. If I show this it's a length. It's a length will be length equal to L1. So now from this point G we have to show this is the head lost. That means the head at this point B was up to point F. So B due to friction the head is getting lost equal to 6.73 meter. So from this point G we have to go below for up to a 6.73 meter. So I will move in the downward direction. So here I will select point H. Now we have to mention that. So what is its a value that is the vertical length that is equal to HF1 which is equal to 6.73 meter that we have to mention. Now again when water is entering from this point C to the tank there are head loss due to exit of the pipe. So we have calculated here HE is equal to 0 0.918 meter. So from this point I we have to go below in vertically downward direction and we have to select the point Z. And this point Z meets at the surface of water level in this tank 2. And what is the distance I to Z that is equal to HE is equal to 0 0.918. 918 meter. Now we have to draw the total energy line. So how to draw? So if we observe here what is the total energy at point A that is here up to point D. Then what is the total energy at this point B that is at the entrance of the pipe? Here is the point E. So we have to join these two points. Now what is the total energy at point C? Here up to this point I. So again we have to join this point E and I. Then what is the total energy when this uh, water, water is entering into this uh, tank. So here is the point Z. So again I have to join this point I to Z. So if we observe D, E, I, Z is the total energy line. So we have to mention that. Now again we have to draw the hydraulic gradient line. So for that hydraulic gradient line. It is the summation of pressure head and datum head. So if we observe, we have to subtract the kinetic head. So if I take here the energy at point B. So what is the energy at this point B? That is the pressure head, kinetic head plus datum head. So if I subtract the kinetic head, that is V square by 2G, which is equal to 0 0.918. So that is the same value for the energy at the head lost at exit of the pipe that is 0 0.918 so i will select here the point k that is it is below this point e and its a value is 0 0.918 so now again if i observe here is the point z that is also equal to that is this distance i to z that is also equal to 0 0.918 meter so here we have to join this surface of water level that is this point z to point e now I will join this with the help of dashed line and this is 
एच जी एल दैट इज द हाइड्रोलिक ग्रेडियंट लाइन दैट वी हैव टू शो